All right, right off the get-go, I want to just say thank you for tuning in. And the next thing I want to tell you is, yes, this is a super long video. Longest one I've ever done, but what an important day it was. And I have included things in here that for me was important and it may be just important to me and the people that worked on this car, but I wanted to include you. Hopefully you watch it all. There's so many cool things that went into this entire win at Route 66 Raceway. I showed a little more behind the scenes, a little more the emotions and, and really and truly that's thanks to Donna. It was almost as if she knew it was going to be a special day. But when you're watching this, just pay attention to the people that work on this car, how emotionally charged they were, how they're bought in to what we're doing. And it was so much fun for me to just really pay attention to their faces, to their body language, uh, to their reaction, especially after we won. Just please watch it. Uh, I know it's long, but man, it was definitely one for the ages. And if anything, if you don't enjoy it, I'm, I'm sorry, but I wanted this video to be here, you know, 20 years from now, it'll still be out there on the internet. And uh, heck, I can go back and, and watch it and enjoy it. But I really think you'll enjoy it too, just because there's so much raw human emotion involved and, uh, Man, I'm glad Donna captured that, you know, heck of a group of people. They're, they're so much fun to work with and a heck of a turnaround for our team. All right, it's already a long video. Tune in, dig in. I hope you enjoy this because I certainly did. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. race day morning and I'm going to go up here and do my best to be like this pair right here and that's winners is what this is right here race day Chicago you got your first win here I made my first start here 25 years ago really well it's a good yeah. day to have a good day y'all were like five maybe <laughs> 10 15 <laughs> good luck, Clay. All right, let's we go love do this. this. Right here. Let's go do this, y'all. Race day. The track temperature is 106 degrees. 73 degrees. Sean Langdon, Red Ken Sealmaster, Toyota, Mac Tools, in the right lane, number six qualifying, Clay Milliken. Milliken goes from the outside to round number two and back-to-back -back runs 373 2 333 miles per hour best run of the with weekend Jim Overhofer who's turned around gave a little bit of a smile how cool is it to start the day with a win that was awesome you know I love Connie Coletta he he taught me so much and he's like a second dad to me and uh, you know and, and racing him is scary you know, especially when they got AJ over there and that whole bunch over there, they're great guys and Langdon's an awesome, awesome driver, awesome team. But I can't say enough about this Parts Plus Rick Ware team and my guys are awesome. I mean, they, they have my back all the time. Clay Milliken is just one, one special human being and 
you know, always positive. And, and uh, when you're getting your butt kicked, um, as a crew chief, sometimes, you know, having people that have your back like that is an amazing thing. For Clay Milliken, it is his first round win of the 2023 season. And it comes in race number six right here at Joliet. The folks at Parts Plus and Biohaven, Rick Ware Racing and Ford, and Jim Oberhofer and that team have a chance to go back and turn things around and try to build on some momentum. All right. Walking over here in a second. If Bruno Long wants to fun. talk to you, it's good, right? <laughs> when you get the first wind light of the day, it's a good thing. Uh, first wind light of the season for us. Is it really? It really is. All right, turn around here. Let's talk about it. All right, let's talk. All right, we're ready. All right, report card, everybody. I can't see it. Don't have my cheaters. All I can tell you is we went 73, 333, and Sean shook and shut it off to a 457. How about that? Uh, first wind light of the year. We needed that badly. Car was really smooth going down the racetrack. I'm looking here, three flat, 291 at half track is good. <laughs> uh, Sean freaking drilled me, but I'm looking here, John. He was 860, 60 foot. So you think he might have stuffed her in there on me a little bit. I think he did. He rolled her in there, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. I was 066, we'll take that all day long. Uh, obviously won't better, but you know what? No scales, right? No. Wind, light, no moving on to round two. Thank you. Good job, brother. It was very smooth. Like, it was just slide right down through there. I, uh, the, you know, the track was 110, and uh, Jesse and I were talking. It's like when we ran yesterday, it was 98. And I said, I'm not taking primary. You know, the air started getting worse, but our next move was almost a percent. I said, I'm not doing that. You know, I, I said, the blower's fresh. Yep. Let's leave it. It'll take care of it. It'll take care of it. And I said, if it doesn't wear so much clutch, um, which I think it, it it should be okay. It didn't have the uh, big cool down there. Yeah. yeah. So, no, I was good. I was such a relief. There were a lot of people happy for <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was good, dude. It's funny, I was talking to Connie before. I said, You be easy on me. <laughs> and he goes, He says, I'm always gentle, but I go, No, you're not. <laughs> I said, With you, you don't know. I, I said, You could go around and, like low ET in the world right now. Yeah. And I'll look stupid. <laughs> uh, Sean said it rattled, he gave it a quick pedal and recovered, but, uh, yeah. That was good. Yep. Boss made it happen. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. Alright, y'all. Short up here because I gotta go pack parachutes to get ready for round two. Alright. I'm not sure how long we've been back, but we're close to ready to go for round two where we'll be racing Doug Coletta. We do have lane choice. One ten. One ten. Fourth pair. Fourth pair at one ten. It is now eleven fifty-three. And like I said, they're adjusting bounds now. We'll be warming this thing up shortly. You bet. Alright, here we go. Rolling up round two, racing Doug Coletta. It's always a a tough competitor no matter what, but we just took out one Kalita car. Let's try to take out the second one. Keep this train on the track. We will face Josh Hart. Brittany Force will race the winner of this matchup. It is Clay Milliken for Biohaven, Summit, and Parts Plus. They got out of first round for the first time all season in round number one when Clay outran Sean Langdon. Jim Oberhofer. <laughs> now turns the knobs for Clay. And Doug Coletta for Mac Tool, Toyota, Revchem, CMR Roofing and Construction, Sealmaster, Mobile One. Doug is the only Flatter Motorsports car that got out of round number one, sitting on 49 career wins in the Allen Johnson. 
Brian Houston to fuel. Milliken off the line first. Doug into tire smoke and Clay Milliken. Is heading to the semifinals for the first time in 2023. 3.797. 328 miles per hour. Clay Milliken, Jim Oberhofer, and the Rick Ware Racing Team will pick their lane against the defending world champion in the semifinals. It'll be Clay Milliken picking lanes over Brittany Force. It'll be Josh Hart picking lanes over TJ Zizzo in the semifinals of Top Fuel. Funny car up next. Well, doggone it, folks. Ha! Got you. Wind light number two just came on. We just beat Doug Coletta. That means we took out the entire Coletta top fuel team. Looking at the slip, it is way hotter. I will tell y'all that. I was 052, we were 855, 216, 305 at 286, 379, 328. And we turned on the wind light. Huge deal. John, that also puts us in the uh, $15,000 race next race. So, I mean, going to the semis, you get to get in. What is it called? The the Mission to Food All-Star all -star, all Call-Out? Anyway, wind light. The team did an amazing job because you got to think about how much backing down that they did. We went 73 in round one. And it's hot enough now, they backed it down to a 79. Uh, takes a lot to, to slow them down like that, but it was required because the track is hot, sun's out, wind light. Oh, I'm gonna say another four or five again. Uh, you need to just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, I know, but you know, I always tell you. Uh -huh. So 850. It had a weird little, uh, no biggie. It had to bend the burnout, 3400. So I had to give her a little tug, come right back down to oh, 3700. Really? Hadn't done that all weekend. Uh -huh. Maybe a piece of, I don't know. That's weird. No big deal. Okay. I'll tell Jesse just to make sure we don't have a burr appearing yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that was huge, slowing it down that much. That was oh, awesome. Yeah. I had a feeling they were going to spin the tires out there. Yeah. I'm like, I need to, we need to try to run 78 to 80, and if and if they if they get that, they fuck, get that. If they run 74 or whatever, then so they, they, they earned it. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah. I beat myself. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, took out the whole the little team. Yep. I told. Hey, I told Fisher, because I gave him a, a crew shirt and said, hey, why don't you wear the hell to play? Uh, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> uh, so those of y'all that don't know, Mr. Fisher's here. He's great friends with the Coletas, and he rides on Connie's airplane. So, yeah, he probably won't be wearing a March Plus shirt. That was awesome. We got Lane Torso with Brittany. Awesome. All right, y'all know the deal going to round three. I gotta go to work, so we're cutting this short. Good job, Miss Bottoms. Keeping me in line. Okay. Good job,
go up in the semis and race who? Who we race? Brady Ford. Yes. Looking forward to that. We have lane choice. Probably can tell you we will be in the left lane. That seems to be the preference right at the moment. But Nitro's in the air, eyes watered, almost no time. All right, y'all. We are second pair out, racing Brittany. I know I've told you that. I am sitting here in the tow vehicle. We're in the lanes. They are prepping the track. And whew, sun's out. I think uh, we got to kind of do a similar run to what we did round two against Dougie. And it should be good. Racing the champ, but I like it. I enjoy it. I think at the moment, we're close to ready, but. TJ Zizzo, his first race of the year, is not up here yet. He's racing Josh Hart. Uh, I'm sure those guys are busting their butt back there trying to get the thing turned around because, again, it's their first race of the year with a brand new car, and they have ran amazing. It's been pretty cool to watch. Hopefully, they get the thing up here in time, and hopefully, we turn on another wind light. That's what we want to do. Let's talk. The Parts Plus Biohaven, Rick Ware Racing Ford of Clay Milligan. Now where they line that dragster up to do the burnout. Gone are the days where you wanted to do the burnout right over where you want to run. Is that the case sometimes? Sure. But oftentimes, track specialists have spots they want you to do the burnout in because they found a spot the track is so good. They don't want you to actually tear up the rubber in that spot. And then you leave a bald spot where you lose a little bit of that tackiness and traction that you were looking for on the starting line. So Brittany Force with David Grubman, Brandon Hazleton, tune in that race car. Taking on Clay Milliken, who had not been out of round one all season. That car has come to life in the biggest of way here today. Winner gets Josh Hart in the finals. It is Clay leaving first. It is Clay leaving first. And it is Clay Milliken taking Rick Ware Racing to their first final round as a top fuel organization. miles per hour. Clay Milliken, Jim Oberhofer, Jesse Snyder. And Jim Oberhofer, how big of a deal is it for you to make the final round today? It's pretty kick-ass. I, I got to be honest. You know, we've been uh, struggling a lot this year and uh, struggling a lot this year. And, I tell you what, I got a tremendous amount of respect for Dave Grubbick and that whole Britain Force team. I mean, that, Grubby, we've known each other for a long time. He's my friend, and he, he is a badass, and, and they're champs. And to be able to beat a team like that is, is unbelievable. And uh, I think Rick Ware and Robbie Benton are going crazy because Rick's got all these race teams, and they're everywhere. Who knows where they're at now, but uh, uh, we can't take those guys. All right, y'all. Hey, 
we turned some wind lights on. And guess what? We turned on another one. Going to the final round, we just beat Brittany Force. Uh, I was 057 on the tree. We were 852, 60 foot, 215, 304, 287, 377 at 329 miles an hour to Brittany's 388 at 319. We have lane choice. We're racing Josh Hart. Let's freaking go. Woo! One more! One more win. Alright, we gotta rip it up, get it turned around and serviced. It'll be a very quick turnaround. Whew. I'm excited. Let's freaking go. Let's go, go, go. Had a little bit of oil out. I don't think the rods are out of the motor. I didn't hear no clunk clunk, but uh had some oil out. But we got parts and pieces, doesn't matter. We are good to go. this short because we got to go win a race. The official microphone, man. Hey, what'd you break? Check one, two, three, four, five, six. Get ready to play Milligan here, didn't you? <laughs> hey, on three, stop on the loud pedal. One, two, three. Warmed up, ready to go. You ready? I'm ready. So who, ready. Who we racing? Josh Hart. Josh Hart. Josh Hart. Josh Hart. Josh Hart. And final round, baby. Final In round. Chicago. Final round. We are ready, y'all. Cars warmed up, ready to go. The team did a quick engine change. The engine had basically made all the runs that it needed to make. So they changed engines. We actually hurt the rear tires that we had previously run. So different rear tires were set good to go.
Biohaven, Rick Ware Ford of Clay Milliken. It is his first final as a member of the Rick Ware organization. For Josh Hart, it's his first two-wide final since St. Louis last year. Josh, who started his career in alcohol dragster, he won a trio of national events, started this team in 2021, and won in his debut in time. who is living his dream, driving a top fuel car. The machine tomb by Jim Oberon. The Parts Plus and Summit and Rick Ware Racing in their first final round. It's Milliken off the line first. And it is Milliken back on top. Three, eight, one. 328 miles per hour clay milliken delivers rick ware racing their first win in nhra competition 3.801 328 miles per hour outruns josh hart 3.808 at 324 margin of victory at the strike and Clay Milliken and Jim Oberhofer have returned to the winner's circle in Camping World competition. Congratulations Down to that entire Jim team. Oberhofer. Joe. Jim O, how did you accomplish this win today? Competition. Man, I'll tell you, Ron, thank you. Great job. Um, I can't say enough about this Parts Plus team and Clay Milliken and, uh, you know, he, he, he got a little bit of funny car driver in him in the final round, dumped her in, and that's cool, you know, it's final round. and. Uh, Man, Rick and Lisa Ware, I love you guys. You know, Robbie Benton, you're over there in uh, North Wilkesboro. Hopefully our RWR NASCAR team does good in that all-star race. And uh, Rick had a, had his Indy car qualify for the Indy 500. So what an awesome weekend for Rick, Rick Ware. And uh, man, I, got, I can't thank him enough and my team. And, and, uh, and Doug Stringer, thank you too for believing in me last year and then getting uh, Rick Ware to believe in me as well. Man, I tell you what, this is awesome, man. And, uh, Donna Milliken, I love her too, she is awesome. It is the fourth win of Clay Milliken's career and his first since right here in Chicago in 2018 as we look again. Clay Milliken with a three thousandths of a second starting line advantage with a seven thousandths of a second ET advantage and the margin of victory at the stripe one hundredth of a second as Clay Milliken and that Parts Plus team return. That is what one hundredth of a second looks like at 328 miles per hour for Jim Oberhofer. Jesse Snyder, who moved over to help Jim O tune that car this year, took a big leap of faith in his career, leaving Coletta Motorsports. Kalen Simmons, the clutch girl on that team, gets married in a week and will do so as the most recent winner on the tour. Let's go down to the top end. That's what I'm talking about. For Clay Milliken, his first round victory of the season was earlier today, and first time he would hold that trophy in way too long. We talked in the pits. The number 25 was just too much to beat here today. 11,000th margin of victory. That 25 means a lot. And I'm not doing that this time. This trophy right here is headed to Rick and Lisa Ware, 
And thank you, Parts Plus Summit, Edelbrock, Biohaven. Everybody makes this happen. And you know what? I still love my job. I've been doing it a long time, and I ain't done yet. <laughs> Let's talk on that loud pedal and uh, win some more of these for the years I'm with. This was huge for this team. Like I say, we have struggled. It's been, a, it's been tough. Rick gave us all brand new parts and pieces, and uh, it looked like we were better with the old ones, but I think Jimbo's got it figured out. We got her turned around. I love every one of you race fans. Thank you for tuning in every week, and thank the people here for coming. Route 66, 25 was a good one. Bam! We're the last to the party. We're the last to the party. Yeah!
certainly isn't. And I wanted to tell you guys, I love each and every one of you. Y'all go to this place, we miss it. And each and every one of y'all are special because you're drag race fans, and I love you for that. Y'all are amazing people. Back up. was 2018. Here we are 25 years later, we did it again. And y'all all know the 25 is pretty dang important to me. And I almost lost it at the top end, but I held it together and I'm going to hold it together right now. But I mean, what a day. I mean, we had so many. Wedding week. It's wedding week. We got Wally, Wally for a wedding. Wedding Wally. Wedding Wally. Insane. Dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. How, how long? How long? How many? Well, I mean, this is my third season. So. Third season. Oh. <laughs> Got it done. There's Mama Blaine. Boom. Boom. All right, Dennis, I know it's your first top fuel win. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. Very awesome. Unbelievable, yeah, right? It is. Yeah. We talked to Rick FaceTime Live. I think he was yeah, naked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he didn't have a shirt on. So, all right. I know you've been coming forever and ever and ever. Tell everybody who you are. Todd Taylor, Austin's dead. Double duty, Austin. <laughs> Duty Austin. Tell everybody who you are. Carson Taylor is that's uh, and, and what Duty connection Austin. do you have to that guy? Brother. <laughs> brother. Brother. <laughs> and I see the is walking I, I around with, with Wally. With hey, you know what you always want to do? What? Go home with Jack Jones. Yeah? Because you know. You don't know. I don't know. So this is actually not Wally Parks. Really? That's Jack Jones. So you want to go home with Jack Jones. And guess what? I'm going home with Jack Jones. Going baby. home with Jack Jones. <laughs> Bo, Woo! Andrew, Woo! Austin. <laughs> All right. How, how many years? How long? What? For racing? Have going to racing? Have chasing this? Oh, since. No, no I'm just with, with me. Oh, this year is your first. Year and a half. Year? Year and a half. Oh, it's been more than a year and a half, ain't it? Well, I mean, since 2003, if we're talking how long I've been oh, coming. No, 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 no. I'm talking work. So this was your first Nitro job. Doug hired you. Yep. So when was that? Beginning of 2022. Boom. Yep. It didn't take you long. You know how long it took me to win a Wally? How long? 19 years! <laughs> how many is this for you? I know it's not good. Ah, uh, seven. 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 You're a... It's been a long time, though. It's been really? a long time. It feels good. It's been two years, almost three, three years. I it's mean, not time. not that long, but <laughs> it feels like a really long time. So, who, who who was your last win with? Who was driving? Uh, Doug. Doug. It was St. Louis St. in Lewis. 2020. Heck so, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Is got Jack Jones. Right. Go home with Jones. All right. How long you been? How, how long you been helping me? What is it about? Almost about a year. I think just so. over, just over a year. That ain't your first one, is it? It is. It is. It is my first one. Dude, I thought you had one. Nope. Oh my nope. goodness. We're all going home with Jack Jones. We are. That's and awesome. I have, I have that so there's no think. no denying. Y'all could almost be twins. It's yep. the sunglasses. Who do you think it is? People say that. <laughs> the baddest man on the planet comes to see us. The Spider Man. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Job. A good job. That was awesome. So everybody, Mr. Larry McBride, fastest man ever on a motorcycle. Craziest we're, man ever. We're getting YouTube content here. I'm gonna make you YouTube famous. You're already worldwide famous. Well, we'll go YouTube on, on your on your channel. On my channel. <laughs> Just don't tell Paul Ray. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, this guy here too, Mike Kern. On I'd have talked to him. He's yeah, a he bad dude here. this weekend. Holy moly! Good mode. job, yeah. man. So, so those fancy new cars you got, right? Fancy new cars. All right, Shit, we got to. You got to come this way. Oh, the sun's way. blasting yeah. my my uh -oh. video here. All right, I've asked you this before, and you didn't really remember. So, how many Wallys do you think that is for you? You know, I, I don't know. That's, Over 50, though, right? Yes. And as a, as a crew member and a crew chief, yeah, it's definitely over 50. So you're going to hear this. You just are. I, I announced it up on the stage on the racetrack. I said it in the press You didn't room. fire me, did you? I said, <laughs> this is what I said, Jimmo. I cannot wait to blast all the haters that's been griping about you. You proved them all wrong today. Yeah, you know, they had a right to <laughs> complain about yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> but some of them are mean, dude. Some of them yeah. are mean. You got the monkey off your back in a big way. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Well, no, look how many supporters to the haters. They heal the rise them by a long that's shot. That's a fact. Yeah. Dude. Well, if I was younger, I'd want to fight them all, but I can't do that. <laughs> I'm too old. I get hurt. The ones, that don't, hey, the ones that don't like him, I don't like them. I don't yeah. do, I, I don't Thanks, like I don't like you know the deal. I can't, I can't wait, though, because Jimmo, Jimmo, Jimmo is going to demand. Golly, dude, you had a good race car today. Yeah, I, well, I had a good driver in it and a good you team. Just, you just had a guy that didn't make a mistake today. We got it done. Hey, you know, it's, it all came together. Pedal worked good. It did. It all came together. It did. Finally. Holy moly, it did. Yeah. You're my hero. Oh, man, you're my hero. Keith, is he not the baddest dude on the planet? He is. He is. <laughs> Mr. Larry McBride. He's a, he's a scooter rider, too. I'm All not right. much of a scooter rider, but Keelan is. Yeah, we ride the Victory. That's right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nope. I like anything. Motorcycles. <laughs> Two wheels. See, they call me crazy. He straps himself in a 12,000 horsepower uh, car. Yeah, but he's I got like, I'm on, Yeah, but, I, but you're strapped in. You can't get away. I can't. <laughs> We don't need you following up this He's crazy. I ain't got to stay with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, Keelan. So you've been on the channel a little bit, but what I, I just wanted to put this out there. How long have we known each other? We figured it out a little while ago. Oh, it's been 40 something years. 40 something years. We won how many races together? IHRA. A beta. A beta. 51. How many championships? Six. You got a ring on? Boom. Y'all look at there. That's an IHRA World Championship yeah, ring. This man right here helped raise me. We started really. hanging out. Oh, well, it, I didn't say it was good raising, but we started hanging out when I was 15 years old. He had a real job. He worked at the Mata bus station in Memphis, which means he had a good job and somehow, some way, both of us were stupid and quit our real job. And we're still going. Yep, that's what we want to do. <laughs> we're that dumb. We're, we're not so dumb that we're not fixing to walk to this winter circle, though. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. It's always a good thing. Here's the one I can't never get to talk much. Big John. What's happening? How many? How many wallies is that for you? That's get, number eight. Number eight. That was the most painful one to get. To, <laughs> not gonna lie. All right. So when was your last one? Uh, Brainerd, 2018. With who? Uh, Billy Torrance. With Billy Torrance. So, y'all know so. John is always behind the wheel, <laughs> pulling me up there. He's kind of become my conscience. He lets me know when I'm getting a little carried away, and he's very good at saying the right things at the right time. Like, rolling up there for the final round. I love you, dude. Love you too, <laughs> It's been a tough, long road. It has. You earned it, buddy. You earned it. All right, we're in the middle of the hat dance. It's put a hat on, take a picture, which is awesome. This is a good thing, right, Andrew? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, folks. Unbelievable what a weekend we had. Ah, it is Monday. I am wore out. Wore out. Went to bed about one, got up at five. I answered uh, 240 plus text messages. Uh, what a weekend. You know, it's been an absolute incredible, crazy journey how we got from Struggle Bus to Wally Trophy. And uh, 
all you folks that have had all those horrible comments about Jimmo. Just saying. You gotta believe. When you put your your trust in somebody that you know can do the job and they're struggling, they will come back. And Jimmo did that this weekend. Uh, I read those comments. I usually don't reply to them because it's like, come on people, do you not know this man's history? Do you not know how many races he's won? Do you not realize the championships he's won? And yes, I might have screamed a whole lot yesterday and I have lost my voice. But I can tell you this, I'm going to totally enjoy editing. Even with the crackly voice from all the screaming yesterday, I so much appreciate each and every one of you. Even the negative comments, keep bringing them. Uh, but we got a Wally. We won Route 66 Raceway. And I hope we win some more this year. That's the plan. You folks are awesome. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and sharing, and my voice sounds funny, and I will see you in the next one. Woo, I have no more woos left in me. No more screams. My voice is gone. Thank you, guys. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Yep, yep, no worries. Um, when I go to show you this background here, yep. then you're going to say, man, that trophy looks good in there. He's going to sneak up behind me. So. All right. And what's up, Rick? Doing How you doing, buddy? Well, I'm doing good for a Monday. Yeah, me too. I can't, I've lost my voice for some reason. I'm not sure why that happened. But Donna's probably happy. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> she definitely is. I hadn't even been on the phone a whole lot, to be honest with you, because my voice is so funky. But I have answered lots of text messages. That's good. Good problem to have. <laughs> I know I sent you all that text to the 240-something. I've got over 60 today. Oh, I, I can believe it. The, uh, it was so cool seeing those kids. Those kids were jumping oh. and screaming. I just saw the video of the starting line. We're at a rest area right now. The dogs had to go outside. And I, I definitely got more than a frog in my throat watching them. I, I was truly more excited for you and for them than myself. I really was. I, I, well, well, you, you've done this before. I, 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 so you've already done it. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's what Stacy was saying. Yeah. Donna, get up there and get get in the picture. And I'm like, nope, I want to film all the kids. Yeah. So for the first time ever, all all the wins I've ever had yesterday, when we got to half track, I could hear him. Like it was, it, it's weird. You can hear when there's a car right beside you, and I literally started screaming inside my helmet. All I was saying was, go, 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 like yelling at the car. I've never done that before, but I wanted I wanted that wind light. And I just it just started coming out. It wasn't like, you know, I consciously did that, but I was screaming at the car, just screaming, go, 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 go. I'm going to be like you're in a go-kart trying to make it go faster. Yes, exactly. You know, like bouncing your head to make it go faster. It was crazy. It was a good feeling when that wind light come on, but it, it truly was, for me, more for y'all. Like, it, it was just, I wanted that, that's for sure. Well, you, you cost us a little bit of money here. Because uh, we just, I'll show you this wall. You just got done wrapping this wall. What y'all do? Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. Hey, hey. Now to replace it with Chicago. Heck yeah. Hey, Rick, you know what'll look good right there? The Wally. Yes, it will, won't it? That would be pretty good. And you know what? That Wally, we call it, There's the Wally's actually a Jack Jones, and there's nothing better than handing the man the Wally. <laughs> how, about, how about that, brother? How about that? 
That's awesome. How about that? There's you. Dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh, uh, there's nothing better than going home with Jack Jones, because that's the man actually standing on the trophy there. Jack yep. Jones. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you for everything, buddy. Oh, dude. Thank you. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't believe it. Well, you, uh, can, you can thank all the kids and Stacy, because I had said on TV it was going home to you and Lisa. I saw that. And they figured out how to make it happen today. And then Robbie was working on getting it where we could do this FaceTime live. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys got me on the spot here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my, wife, my wife was so upset. So I was screaming. She's like, the neighbors are going to hear it. I'm like, I don't give an ass to the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't care. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can tell it. That's why I can't talk today. <laughs> uh, can't be to be there with you guys, but I tell you, it was so it was so great seeing those guys just jumping around. So much pure joy. Oh, it was. I just, uh, man, it's just I can't thank you enough, man. Hey, getting that first one's hard. It took me 19 years to get my first NHRA. I got 51 of the IHRA, but they're gonna come easier now. Everything's in place. You you did that. Well, obviously it's taking me 35. I turned 35 this year, so it's taking me a long time to get one. <laughs> well, you got one. <laughs> uh, well, we we love you guys. Thank you so much for all of it.